Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to let the NPC to follow the waypoint. You can see this AI NPC it will keep on follow this waypoint. We'll start from waypoint one and go to the waypoint two or and then go to another waypoint three and then back and forth. You can see this AI NPC. So Start from now, I'm going to show you how to step by step perform this. Let the NPC to follow the waypoint. Right. As demo, I will just close this old project. Then I will start a new project and I will show you step by step. So I will just choose the game as demo I will use the third person. And here the file name I will just put tutorial AI waypoint for MPC. This one should be MPC. Now this is a whole new project. It's totally start from the beginning, so I will demo step by step so that you understand how to set it up, how to make the NPC walk and follow the waypoint. Just wait for a while. All right, this is your main character. If I want to set a waypoint, I can just make it very simple. First, I will just create a blueprint class as an actor. This is waypoint text. I just want to put a text as a reference. I double click it. Here, I will add a component. I will add it as waypoint. Sorry, no. Add a component, that one should be render text, text render. And here, the horizontal alignment I will just put as center, and the text I will just put waypoint. And the scale I will just put 5. Oh no, this one is better. All right. Like this is okay, I compile it. And now if I drag it out, I can see waypoint. When I play, then I still can see. Alright, never mind. This is very crucial. Let's say this is waypoint waypoint zero one. And then now I will just drag another one to make another waypoint then try to play now you can see I want the NPC to walk from here to here and then back and forth like this first what, sh what should I do? click the content and then the third person blueprint it is under blueprint the third person character close the third person character you right click and duplicate. Here I will just put NPC waypoint as a reference. All right. So now, if I drag drag it out, actually it's not yet been ready. I just double click it. Something need to set. All right. So here, this is the blueprint, the event graph, right click, event, begin, play, and then drag out, AI, move to, alright, 
next, the pawns drag it out. Self. Get reference to self. And then select this, this two. Control C and then move your mouse cursor to here and control V to paste. Next, on the success, you drag to here. And here, on the success, you drag back to this position. Now, by using this loop, the destination here, you have to put your first waypoint. And the destination to here, you have to put your second waypoint. So now let's check the first destination. Okay, now, the first destination should be this. So click here. The waypoint 2, right? This one. You check here. 450, 990, and 130. So how? Here, type it. Four, this is minus 450. Here, 990. And the next one here. 130. Alright, first waypoint done. Next one. The second waypoint here. Check it. 310. Here. 310. 980. And when? And where? 160. 160. Enter. Next. Compile. Now. I can just try to play and let's observe. It's still not move. You still need one more step. So I will just check from here. That should be some word like NAV. NAV, this one, Navigation Mesh Bound Volume. Drag out and press, press R to make it cover, cover the place. All right, you must make sure this Navigation Mesh, mesh Bound Volume must cover all the waypoint. And if I press P, then you can see the area that's the NPC available to move P to toggle. Now I try to play again. See, now this NPC will keep following these two waypoint. All right, if like this, you want to change the speeds, you can just double click the same here NPC waypoint. This is under third person blueprint, the content. Third person blueprint, blueprint, you can see your NPC waypoint here. If you want to change the speed, actually, you can click here and you drag it down to find the walking speed. Is there any walking? Here. Maximum walking speed, I can change it to become 150. All right, enter. I compile and I try to play again. Now you can see this NPC is walking. I can even make him more slower. Escape. Check again. Somewhere here. Click. Maximum walking speeds. I can put 90 as well. I try to compile and check again. Now it's walking even slower. How about if you want to make a you want to make three waypoint? So where is my waypoint just now? At the beginning, somewhere here, waypoint text here. So if I put one more, can I set one, two, three? Should be okay, no problem. 
So I put this at here. All right. Then I put another point at here. So now you have four points. Back to your blueprint. So now you have four points. Then you have to copy this two more time. See, one, two, three, four. So where is the third point? First, this is the first point. Check again. Four five zero nine nine zero one three zero. Is it correct? Four five zero nine nine zero one three zero. Yes. The second point. Second point is at here. Eight two zero. See, eight two zero. Then here. One zero six zero. One six zero. All right, next, check the third point. Third point is at here. All right, third point here. Check. 760. Negative 970. Here, 130. 130. X, Y, and Z. The fourth point. Somewhere here. All right. The fourth point. Seven six zero. Here. One zero. Sorry, this is negative. One zero six zero, and then one three zero. All right, next, what should I do? Now, four waypoint already set. It's on success, have to be head to tail. Here. And here, on, on success, head, head to tail here. And the final one, have from on success to the beginning. From on success here to the beginning. Here. On success, drag to here. Now, you can see it is like a solenoid, right? I try to compile again. I make it faster so that I can observe. I click character movement. Set the maximum speed as running speed. Where is it? Where is the maximum speed there? It's walking maximum walking speed. Max walk speed I changed to 600. Now I can just compile and try to observe this AI. Okay, stop there already. Let's check again the blueprint, see any error. If here on success, I go to here. Should be no problem. Compile. Play. Alright, this is at the beginning, it's just two waypoint. Now maybe something wrong happened here. Let's check again. From on success to, to somewhere here. This is the first demo. Just check if it is no problem. Just now no problem, now have problem, right? So suddenly, where is, where is the second waypoint? Sorry, this one should be the first. I check again, double check.
All right, second. Eight two zero, one zero six zero, one six zero. The maximum walking speeds. Two hundred. Play again. Still stuck there. What happened? If I plug this out and compile again, still stuck there. <laughs> What's wrong? I delete it. Connect it. Compile. Play. All right. Now I know what is the problem already. That is because of the. Now I I undo everything. The problem it's is because of the navigation smash. So now I'm going to connect it back in this way. Next. After I troubleshooting about that, actually it's because of this. All right, press R. To make it wider. Make sure it cover every every waypoint. Press P. Let's check. Now it cover everything, and then again I adjust the speed, the character movements. Make it six hundred. All right. Compile and test again. Play. See, now it's okay. Follow the waypoint, and it will loop it. It will loop together. So if you set the the maximum walking speeds as a slow walking, then you can simulate the pedestrians, like the the walking crowd, and that is awesome. Now this NPC really follow the four waypoint, and then once you successfully set it, then you can delete this text. We don't want the player to see this, right? This is just your own reference to find the location. After you finish set up the waypoint, you have to delete everything. And that's all for today about how to set the waypoint for your NPC. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that you can activate the notifications when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy and happy animation and game developing. See you in my next video.